from the other musicians and maybe also from the music that is played in between while you do this. Do you have to change over so you can? So, it's called overload, and then on the other hand, you have these lots of breaks in which you can do nothing but wait. So, there is a massive switch again and again and again over the tour days of massive activity, massive input, massive output, and breaks. That sounds really exhausting to me. It is. It is. <laughs> the worst part of the tour is waiting. That is yeah. really the worst. It's the most fatiguing part of the tour. Because when you're constantly doing something, then you don't have to worry about it. Like, uh, if I compare the headline tour we did with Better Sound in the last September, uh, that was way easier for me in a way that there was okay, there was not much of a wait um, as my support band as it is. So we were the first one to get in. Of course, it was more things to do for the crew. And, but the more you wait, the more fatiguing it gets. And of course, when you want to recharge your batteries to get things going, it's the opposite way around. You're not recharging your batteries. Actually, you're draining your batteries faster when you're waiting. So that can be a little bit more fatiguing. Not too long ago, like, yeah, you think you have done everything there is needed, and then you say, like, hey, uh -huh. is this okay if I go now and grab a bite? You go out, try to grab a bite, and the moment you, like, try to take this bite, the phone is, no, you need to come now, back again. So that Most sounds really, can have really well. yeah. you do not emotionally belong. challenging. Of course. Yeah. The thing is that on the tour, you do not belong to yourself completely, you belong to something bigger. And that's it, that you just sacrifice your private space, your private time, everything. Yeah. In, in order for, and for the sake of the bigger, something bigger and bigger yeah, aim. Precisely. And then mentally you need to prepare yourself as well, that you know, you have such a short span of uh, time to play a set. Well, these guys have 30 minutes, we have an hour. Uh, so in those 30 minutes to an hour, you need to just execute full on. If you have a bit of a longer set, then of course you can slowly and slowly build up and you know relax as well be in between also just kind of. But here you just execute. So for that reason you have to be sharp. But to stay sharp you need to constantly keep on doing something, but you can't because you're just like, okay, now waiting, waiting, waiting. So every time it's like constantly think it's about it. now. Right. Yeah, exactly. I somehow actually uh, I somehow managed to find what to do all the time. Well that's great. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can barely now think of a moment when I was doing nothing. Yeah. I constantly doing something. Yeah. That's really amazing, absolutely. Or at least sleepy. Well, uh, when I don't have to drive, we, we don't have a driver, we drive, we take shifts. You know? Yeah. Yeah, so um, I, if I do not drive, I sleep. Or uh, I watch the uh, series, a new series. Okay. Which is the best one at the moment? The best one. That what series? Series? Yeah. I've watched it the last like two months. The man in the high 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 yeah, cost. That's amazing. Yeah, I fell in love with it. Absolutely, from the first part. And actually, I revived the uh, recommended it to Yarko, uh -huh. and then he started looking back uh, watching the first three or four and see the episodes of season one. All right. Okay. Yes. I no. Um, I generally try to when I'm on the tour. My only thing is the problem that I have is. Uh, I have a sleeping disorder, so I really don't get much sleep. I constantly wake up, and that's not just the tour. It's kind of my, it became my pattern in life for the past four or five years. Try watching films. I well, also had the same problem. Now I just watch films, and it helps me to go to sleep. Yeah, but like that same again. Like I try to experience the tour life much more every second of the tour life than to watch the series. So to, you know, because series is gonna put me there in the visual world. But though I started watching The Crown yesterday because I was the only one awake in the bus and I was like, now what do I do? So I thought that, okay, I'll watch The Crown. That's a very nice series as well. Um, uh, but generally this is what I do. I go out, I walk around the city or then when I do get up, Eugene knows mostly I'm retired. So I'm like trying to gather my head around. Because everyone else is like <laughs> going here and there, doing it's this and that. Take up decisions, I think. Exactly. So, sure thing. Um, you know, already I have this odd question thing in the end. Um, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> and go for an easy thing to perform with the idea. 
So you know the superhero question already. Yeah. You remember? Do you find a superhero for a scene and vice versa? I I I am looking for a, a, a solution for him. Describe it again. It's a hard tough. Maybe a Wolverine. Oh, wow, thanks man. Wolverine. That's a good one. Yeah. It is my favorite. Yeah. And he had been my favorite one, of course, man. Thanks, man. Welcome. So what what's the same or what's the overlap between Wolverine and him? I'm very curious about this. Hmm. Maybe uh, the the view, the sight, you know, the way he looks at people. It's just it really reminds me of the one we had in the film. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. And it, he's invincible. Oh thank I you. Know. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. Hopefully. For good causes. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so that's fine for the other one. For your team. Superhero. I would your say host, Hulk. No, because the Eugene has the character of being calm, very caring, at the same time very respectful, and then he has his other side as well, which both sides I like. So he has the capability of becoming something that you know destructive that don't even dare. <laughs> but but it, you know the to the two sides which are the personality of human being, but we suppress them most of the time. So yeah. with him, it's clear. So that's the thing which I like about him. But both sides, he has a control on. Hulk generally doesn't. So it's not so, Jekyll and Hyde, but he has no. control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a controlled Hulk. Yeah. Interesting. Fake, fake. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, this did a lot of thing. Now, what, what, what time you must have? Yes. We really have a big, big problem. Like, a uh, problem in criminal cases. Mm -hmm. And you have two teams you can get for help. Is it the A team or is it the leverage team? <laughs> well, I like Mr. T, so I'm gonna go with A team. <laughs> well, I, it's a, it's a hard question. I could just agree with with, with, with A team yeah. could be because I kind of like grew up with that. So, yeah. but you know, I, hard to say. Both of them are not my favorites or something like this, but. And it's not about the papers. Who's okay. going to get in your out of trouble the best way? <sighs> Whom would you trust more? But if you like Mr. Mm, T, none. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. None of the. <laughs> 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 Against the stream Searching for the world